Sorry, I'm having a moment. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the May 4th meeting of the West Sacramento Planning Commission. Tonight's agenda is available on the counter with a, along with a request to speak cards. A reminder to everyone that a request to speak card should be completed and turned into the clerk prior to the completion of any staff presentation. For those speakers wishing to speak on items not on the agenda but within the jurisdiction of this commission, please write the item number on your card. All speakers will be limited to three minutes. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and televised, so all speakers, in order to be recognized, must be called on by the chair and come forward to the microphone. Speaking in public may cause some individuals to be uncomfortable, so everyone is asked to be professional and respectful at all times. And we'll begin by the pledge led by Commissioner Liebig. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will start with the general administration functions. Section A, presentations on the public, by the public, on matters not on the agenda within the jurisdiction of the commission. The commission is prohibited by law from discussing issues not on the agenda brought at this time. If there's anyone who would like to make a comment, please come forward. Seeing none, we'll move on to item B, correspondence and staff communications from the Planning Commission Secretary. Secretary, if you could introduce yourself. I'm Justin Hardy, Senior Planner. I'm sitting in for David Tilley, who is out sick. You have one communication from staff regarding a memo on the update on the item for tonight. And that is all. Thank you very much. Um, do any of the commissioners have any questions on the memo? We will be getting it to the item. OK. Um, I'm sorry. Do you, OK. Uh, item C, disclosure of ex parte communications. Planning commissioners should disclose any communications they've had on the agenda at this time. And I will start with on my left. Seeing none to my right. Uh, I did check in with uh, members of the business community in West Sacramento. So we'll move on to the consent, to the first item, which is a consent agenda for our meeting on April 6th. Motion to approve the minutes. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. We have a motion by Vice Chair Sturmfels and a second by uh, Commissioner, I have your name right here, Lipor. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Any abstentions? The motion carries unanimously. Moving on to item two, public hearing regarding the resolution 17-1 PC, recommending approval of amendments to Municipal Code 17 zoning to implement General Plan 2030. Mr. Laffey. Good evening, Chair Austin and members of the Commission. Um, you should have a memo in front of you. Um, there are two, two corrections to the agenda report. Um, first is the general plan land use map. Um, you should have included in the memo uh, the updated map. This is the map that was approved by City Council in November. Uh, the map that was originally in the agenda report um, was a draft version. Um, it had two parcels that were different, uh, different land use designation than what was approved. Um, and that, that is one, one of the parcels at the, is at the very end of West Capitol Avenue, um, the western side, and the other is at uh, Gateway Drive in Lake Washington. Um, so the purpose of tonight's item is to incorporate the four new uh, land, use, land uses in the general plan into the zoning ordinance. Um, the general plan, which was approved in November, November of last year, um, has a new commercial zone. It consolidates the three previous commercial zones into one. Um, there is a new mixed-use corridor zone along West Capitol Avenue, a new neighborhood mixed-use uh, commercial zone, um, and then lastly, a medium-high density residential zone. So these, these new general plan land uses need to be incorporated into the zoning ordinance um, to make the zoning ordinance consistent with the general plan. Uh, we will be undertaking a full zoning ordinance modernization um, starting later this year. Uh, but in the meantime, we do need to get this integrated into the zoning ordinance. Um, that's why we're here tonight. Um, so this is a map of where those new land use designations are. Um, we held a public workshop before Planning Commission on October 6th of last year, and most recently March 28th. And there was a public open house, house held on March 21st. And, that, and we reached out to the affected property owners and business owners um, regarding these changes. And we, ha we held the open house um, with the Chamber of Commerce. And we received a lot of input. Um, 
And now here we are. So the recommended changes are to the consistency matrix, um, to the zoning matrix, which shows what uses are permitted and conditional in each zone, um, and then also the land creation and lot development standards, how, how, size, how large lots can be, um, and then the setback, uh, you know, what, what the setbacks would be for, the, for these, new, these new zones. Um, so really we're trying to incorporate these new designations into the, the zoning ordinance. Um, and then lastly, the, uh, the brew pub definition, uh, this is the revision of the, the brew pub definition um, to allow for more of a, kind of more of the modern uses that we, we see now. Um, this, this new definition would allow for less of a kitchen aspect, more of a, you could have a food truck in lieu of a full commercial kitchen, um, and it would allow for, uh, for, for breweries that want to have their, their off-site tap room, it would allow for that tap room as well. Um, that's what the type 23 small beer manufacturer, um, so if the tap room wanted to move in, they could move in under a uh, small, uh, under the brew pub definition. So I'll, I'll conclude with a map of the, the new general plan land use designations. Um, we are seeking approval of resolution 17-1 PC tonight, um, which recommends approval of these changes to city council. Um, and that concludes my presentation. So would it be appropriate for commissioners to provide comment before opening the public hearing, city attorney? Yes. Okay. All right, so commissioners, um, I'll also start on my left with Commissioner Liebig with any questions or comments before I open the public hearing? Sure. I mean. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a short public comment period. Um, thank you, Seamus. I have a couple of questions. Can you can you track us through uh, the one change in the last paragraph of background where it indicates that the um, the zoning matrix was amended uh, to show minor auto repair as a conditional use in MUC and MUNC Yeah. Yeah. Zones. Thank you. For bringing that up. So uh, the last meeting, commission expressed concern about the number of um, businesses that would become non-conforming. Um, the minor auto repair. There's a decent number of minor auto repair or auto repair uses that would we were rec originally recommending that would not be permitted along the uh, West Capitol corridor and then also the mixed use neighborhood commercial zone. Um, because of the comments received at the last workshop, we did change that to being uh, conditional in both the mixed-use corridor and mixed-use neighborhood commercial um, zone. Um, so before they were not permitted, and now they're conditional. And this would allow for <coughs> any uh, existing businesses to expand with a use permit um, or any new businesses to move in with a use permit. In, in the document that I'm, I'm looking at, I was a little confused at attachment three, um, where it doesn't appear that, uh, it doesn't appear to reflect that change okay yeah so yeah document three was the existing business survey um, and this was done showing the minor auto repair being not permitted so you're right it does not reflect the most recent change um, with the conditional okay sorry bear with me actually um Can you remind me where the MUC and MUNC zones are? I can look at the map. It's just you probably know faster than me. So mixed-use corridor is along West Capitol Avenue. Um, and the mixed-use neighborhood, MUNC, mixed-use neighborhood commercial, um, primarily is along Sacramento Avenue. Um, there are some other areas scattered throughout the city, um, north of Town Center, um, those properties north of Town Center. Um, and then some properties over in SIP, um, Southport Business Park. Okay. So this affects both West Capitol and Sacramento Avenue. Um, right. Was, uh, was that the intent when we were going back and forth on our comments last week? I guess I'm specifically looking at Andrew. Yeah. Um, Commissioner Levy, I believe so, yes. I, I think the, the, the confusing part, um, and I apologize because I'm this is your time, uh, is that um, the docu the attachment three wasn't updated, so I think we got a little confused when we got to attachment three, but also in the staff report under the exceptions where you're describing the new zones, we don't mm -hmm. say anywhere implicitly there under the exceptions that um, 
minor auto repair, which was previously a permitted use, is now a conditional use. So in, unless I missed it somewhere. So yeah, so the exceptions are an exception from that formula. Um, and for the mixed use corridor and the mixed use neighborhood commercial, uh, whatever zone we were going off of for that formula, if it was conditional and now it's proposing conditional, it's not an exception to that change. So it would, so the exceptions are a difference from the, the zone we were going off of, if that makes sense. Mr. Lee Big, may I follow up one more? Go, no, absolutely. I'm, I'm so, open for discussion. So, so my understanding is that the mix, the previous mixed use designation was uh, minor auto repair was permitted. Is that, is that correct or incorrect? I don't, I, I don't want to cause a whole lot of yeah, I'll have shuffling. To, I'll have I just want to make sure that what's in the staff report is in terms of exceptions to the previous zoning is, is properly reflected. Yeah, so what, what's shown in, in um, the zoning matrix um, is that minor auto repair will be conditional now in mi mixed-use neighborhood commercial and in the mixed-use corridor. Um, previously, it was commercial, conditional in the mixed-use zone mm -hmm. and uh, conditional in the waterfront zone mm -hmm. and conditional in the central business district zone. Okay, thank you. I yield back okay. to the good Commissioner Liebig. All right, and that is... Sorry, I keep walking away from my, my microphone. And that is described under the land use ma the matrix sections 2 and 3. Is that where you're referencing? So the zoning matrix is in the ordinance. Um, so that would be attachment six, or attachment five. Thank you. And, and I just want to reiterate um, something important because I, I actually had <laughs> several questions before the planning commission, which I addressed with staff. But the, what we really want to focus on is the resolution because that's going to be the thing that, we're, that we are going to be voting on. So I think it's most important that what is reflected in the resolution, not that I want to discount the importance of the attachments, but we really want to make sure that the resolution, if we suggest amendments or want to confirm something, that those are in, in that. So if you look at the kind of final pages, that's where you see yet another matrix, but this is going to be the document that, that, that moves forward. Right. It references the matrix, though, right? Yeah, and okay. this and, the, and the, it's. Thank you. I'm still having a hard time. All right. Thank you. That's it. So, do do you have the clarity that you need? I I do. I, I was just uh, struggling to track the change through the document. All right. So I will move on to Commissioner Vu. Uh, no, no questions. Uh, Commissioner Lee, I'm Lee Big Lepore. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I actually had the same questions that uh, Commissioner Lee Big had as well, just tracking some of the changes on here. So we can address that. And Vice Chair Sternfels. I just want to say thank you for uh, uh, taking the additional effort to kind of wrap our arms around this and make sure that uh, we'd really thought through kind of all the different options out there. Um, as I'm looking at the second to last page of the matrix under vehicle sales and rental service, I see clearly under auto repair minor that those are indeed conditional in the MUNC and MUC. Uh, and I just uh, appreciate city staff additional work, not just going out and doing the work with the chamber, but bringing this back to us now for the third time uh, to make sure that, that we get it right. I also want to say um, just kind of probably for the record, if nothing else, that um, while I think all of us thought this flexibility was important in the near term, uh, in the long term, as we continue to kind of complete development in other areas of town and start focusing more time, energy, and resources on this, the West Cap area in particular, I'm certainly totally open to revisiting, um, going back and, and being a little bit more aggressive as our initial approach was, I think, in rezoning some of these things to kind of spur the type of future development we want in that area. Um, so. I want to thank you for the flexibility and also, you know, say that I'm, I would be open to those changes down the road, um, you know, as we get, get closer to realizing the potential there. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, 
so before I open the public comment, I wanted to check in. Were there any um, comments that were submitted that of note um, that the commission should be aware of between the workshop and today? Okay. So with that, I'll open the public hearing. So public hearing is open. Um, I don't have any comment cards. And if anyone is interested, they can step forward to the podium, but I see nobody. We'll close a public hearing. Um, and I will give, I'll, I'll just give uh, commissioners another opportunity to weigh in if they have any other comments, questions, observations. Uh, I second Commissioner Sturmfeld's comments. comments. Lepore. All right, well, I want to, um, uh, you know, I appreciate the comments of my fellow commissioners. Um, really want to appreciate the, lot, the amount of work that went into this, um, both by city staff and by community members who've been engaged throughout this process. <clears throat> um, and I, I, <laughs> the staff report was incredibly confusing, um, including the attachments, but this is a lot of information, and um, I'm glad that it was presented in a variety of ways. So at this point, I am willing to open, um, entertain uh, a motion on this resolution. Oh, I'm sorry. The item two. Um, did, did we sufficiently find that the proposed changes are consistent with general plan and approve the resolution? Would that be a two-part uh, yeah. motion? No, I think you're um, approving the resolution, and okay. that resolution finds that the proposed changes are consistent. Great. Thank you for that clarification. And with that clarification, is it, do I have well, a motion? To be clear, you're sure. recommending that the council find that... It's covered by the general plan EIR. So we, the planning commission is approving the resolution and recommending the environmental findings. Correct. Okay. Okay, I will do this. <laughs> I will move the recommended actions uh, in with note of the replacement for attachments one and four uh, passed out by staff. Second. All right, I have a motion from Commissioner Liebig and a second from Vice Chair Sternfels. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Any abstentions? The motion carries. All right, so uh, on to general administrative function. Um, any informal discussions? I'll start on my right with Commissioner Lepore. Nope. Vice Chair Sternfels. Commissioner Austin. Mm -hmm. um, there was a public hearing on that. Oh, so did I, I? I thought I closed it. What well, you did? Um, oh, do I need a roll call? Due, vote? due to the uh, ability as a public hearing, anybody wanted to appeal the decision? Oh, thank you. Go ahead and say your piece. Yes, we have, we're not moving on yet. Do I need to open the public hearing? To, no, I don't need. I need to do that. No, no. You, you don't need to reopen the public hearing. We just need to read the appeal um, provision. Is that what we're? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anybody that would like to appeal the action of the Planning Commission, I'll start again. Thank you. Any other interested party may appeal the Planning Commission's in this matter may to the City Council filing a written appeal to, with the City Clerk within 15 days of tonight's action. This mu appeal must be accompanied by the appropriate filing fee. Thank you. Great. Thank you. And with that, we'll move on to general administrative function and informal discussion. It looked like Commissioner Blapore had anything, Vice Chair Sternfels, and Commissioner Vu, and Commissioner um, uh, Liebig. May is bike month. May Just is a reminder. bike month. And Thank uh, you very much. although I almost wore a bike jersey today, um, <laughs> I figured I'd probably better look a little bit more the part. <laughs> Thank you for that. And on that same note, um, I'll announce that today is the Big Day of Giving. If you have not done so already, you can go to the Big Day of Giving website, select the um, nonprofit or nonprofits of your choice to support. Highly recommend that you support one from West Sacramento or Yolo County. And with that, um, we will adjourn. <laughs>